Hello, this is Nita with WeCookYears.com. Uh, today I'll demonstrate how to use the mass production technique for silk screening cookies when you have, you know, a lot to do of one kind, uh, which this enables you to line up the stencil in the right place with each cookie, therefore giving you a more professional look. And I'm sorry, I'm not sure which cookie it was on YouTube that came up with this idea, but she's there and I have to say hats off to her because this is, in my opinion, a genius idea and I thank her for this because it's helped a lot. So first of all, you want to have your royal icing at a, I use about a 10 second consistency to where if you put your spatula in and pull it up, getting a little curl there that wants to fold down. Can you see that? So that's, when you do that, you know that that's the right consistency, okay? Um, so you're going to want to take a, a clipboard. This is just a rubber shelf liner that I put under it to hold it in place so it doesn't scoot on you. And you take your, I use a mini clipboard. Some people use a full size, and I think it depends too on the size of your cookie. But you take your cookie bag or any thin sheet of acetate would work, real thin, to where it's flexible to bend over the cookie. And you're just going to take and put that on the side with a little binder clip of some kind. Okay, and that will be your template to line all the others up. And you take your silkscreen stencil and you clip it on there. This is a silkscreen one of a little babies or kids uh, bell bottom that I designed the other day and I'm excited to use it. Okay, and just clip that on there and I keep my silkscreen without cutting it when I'm doing these, so it gives me a little bit more room to work with. All right. And so, what you do from here is you take this, and I cut my, by the way, I cut my cookie bags in half because they can be kind of expensive, those quality ones. So I just take and cut them in half and save the other one for the next time, the other side for the next time. So, oh, I'm sorry. So anyway, you take and put this down as though it was your cookie. This is to get your template. <clears throat> and just pull that down and hold it taut, taunt, and get your icing up there. And just do it as you normally would. Okay. And you're going to want, when you're doing a bunch of these at one time, you will want to keep your uh, stencil as clean as possible so it's not drying out. Some people will use a sponge wrapped in a paper towel so it doesn't dry out. Now I don't, I've never done that. I don't feel the need to because mine really don't dry out. So then you pull it up and this will give you your template. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a matter of lining it up on your cookie for the next one, okay? So you keep this clipped on here and let it dry so you don't smear it around. And it dries really quite quickly. Okay, and so from there, you're going to put your blank cookie on. And you just line it up with this template, okay? And that looks real good there. Right, so you take your silk screen and it should be in the right place and it does look like it. And get your more icing out of there. Okay. You don't have to push down too hard on it. You don't want to damage your icing underneath. Okay. 
kind of a learning curve when you first start doing this, but you'll catch on to it. And there it is. Okay, I'm going to do a bunch of these and I am going to make it to where it looks like blue jeans with ruffles on them. And I'll show you that later, but just wanted to show you this technique. It's really nice. And if you're interested in signing up for the We Cook Years newsletter, um, that's going to offer you lots of good tips and business tips and inspiration, cookie inspiration. And I hope to see you there. And the description will be under the video. I appreciate your time and thank you for watching. You have a good day.